we will be changing something uh, here in the TOC tree. The TOC tree means table of content tree. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to give it one space and I'm going to do one, two, three. My folder name was RST and my file name. I'm sorry. Yeah, my folder name one, two, three was RST and my file name was add. Our job is done here and right quit. <coughs> So what happens is I have <coughs> done all my work. What I have to do is I'll have to go back and come here. That is a make file right here. So what you'll have to do is make HTML and run this. <coughs> it says it's done. <coughs> Not a problem. Excuse me. So here, as you saw, the build was completely empty. But here, if you see, it's created two more folders called document of content tree and HTML. So I'll have to go to HTML LS and that is going to be a file called index.html. Now, if you're on Mac, all I can do is open index.html and it'll open up. If you are on Ubuntu or Windows, you can do Google hyphen Chrome and then index.html. So if I click this, as you can see here, calculator, when I added calculator, I had equal to equal to here and equal to equal to below. The reason why this happens is in restructured text file, you can give equal to plus minus whatever you want to do. What it understands is that this is the main title and anything below will become nested. So if you go to calculator, it opens up add because it only has add. Here, we can also change it, but let's just let's just try to see how it works. So ls, I've come out. Uh, cd dot dot, cd dot dot and ls. So I'm here. This is how you work with Sphinx to generate documentation. Let's have a look at a very complex one that we created. We'll see. Okay. As you see here, if I go to build, if I go to HTML, there's going to be an index.html. And if I run this, <coughs> I will have altogether a new, uh, you know, theme and everything. So let me tell you how you can change that theme. So of course, let's go to terminal. We'll do CD desktop ls my folder name was Swinks test right ls right so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to source i'm going to go to conf.py so i'm going to do vim or i can do sublime this time some of you will have subl i have kept the alias name as sublime because i don't like to have uh you know clashes so sublime conf.py and if you open this up what you have to do is before you change the theme here, you can have a lot of options like you can also put default as one of the theme, but I don't want to do that. What I would do is I will do pip3 install. This is the theme which every other company, every other open organization is using. It is very good looking. It is very uh, easy to work with. Hence, it's called SPHINX Sphinx underscore RTD underscore theme. I have this already installed, hence it will say requirement already satisfied. What you have to do is you have to install it and then write the same thing here and save it. So as you could see that our, uh, <coughs> okay, I closed it. The, the previous version was kind of basic, but let's try to make it a little better. So I'm going to go back. Okay, here I'm going to do make HTML again. So done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to build. Of course, there's an HTML. So I'm going to do CD HTML and then, oh, sorry. And then I'm going to do open index.html. So you see the theme is completely changed. So it's that easy. It's that simple. But let's try to add some more things and let's try to understand how it actually works. I already have one ready with me right here. So what I'm going to do is I will take you through it. Okay. So here is another complex built uh, 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 documentation uh, from one of my students. So what he's done, we'll go to build, we'll have index.html, which will open with Google Chrome. As you can see that it's, it's got a logo. It's got Welcome to tweets, response, documentation, description, very neatly arranged content, which is nested content, libraries. How did you do that? And how did we achieve that? So let's just go to search page and you see that a video is embedded right here. So we'll do all that. And how, how come do we embed a photo or an icon or an image here? 
So let's try to do that. The very first thing that we need to do to put an image is for an image to be stored. I have already <coughs> downloaded this image that is the logo of the company. So what you have to do is you'll have to go through index.html. Oops, sorry. Okay, you will have to go to index. Oh my God, right. And sublime. Yes, right here. So here, right, I'm um, here, wowza, right, I'm here. So this script is automatically generated. All you have to do is you will have to put below the body here, the head, which is matching with this head. You have, you'll have a body class and under the body class, you'll have a div, which is starting right here. All you have to do is you'll have to put your image right here. So you see reading.png, uh, you'll have a width 100 pixel and height 100 pixel, and then you're done. So what you have to do is you'll have to put it right here and then you'll have to save your code. And when you run the code again, you will have that same PNG up and running in your folder here, right here. So how do we embed a link? Now to embed a link, you'll have to go to search.html and there are a couple of tweaking that's needed there, but okay, let's, let's get there. So as you can see here, if I can open this side by side, just a second, right. Right, index.html, right. So I have this open side by side, let me just, okay, all right. So if you come here, as you can see from this, if you come at the very down, you will find something called as the navigation. Here, if you see the documentation, it is, okay. So that is one other thing to know. If you want to upload this thing online, there is already a service called readthedocs.org. Uh, what it'll help you do is it'll help you upload your uh, documentation, Python documentation uh, on GitHub. So what happens is if you go to a GitHub account and you log into with your GitHub account, uh, what happens is if you go to the settings of any uh, repo that you've created, now let's just go to settings and under settings you'll find webhooks right here. I already have a webhook set for read the docs because I already went in read the docs. I had created, I logged in, <coughs> I uploaded, uh, uh, so basically I gave my GitHub link to read the docs and the read the docs understood that there is a folder or a repo called uh, Sphinx documentation, it will take it inside. It will try to create a webhook for your uh, uh, your GitHub. And then what you can do is you can create something called a github.io. So an example would be, suppose I want to create a github.io, which is, this is my github.io. So I can create a github.io, which will be available and it will be online in seven minutes. So this is one of the services that you can use, which is read the docs. So as you can see here, copyright 2019 and copyright 2019 right here you want it to be embedded in search page if you go here the hr tags or the okay so what you have to do is if you come from the very top you'll understand that okay one of the bodies are starting right here so what you'll have to do it you'll have to start putting your link right here in this iframe so what you'll do is you will have so this is currently under search page what you'll have to do is save it this much hide this much my source of the YouTube video is this. If you want to do that, that's one of the options. The other option would be, okay, let's go to YouTube. So how do you get this entire code is you have to go to YouTube. You have to go to AI. I'm just opening up my page. <coughs> uh, suppose I go to um, this video. Okay taking some time to load. 
right so if you come down here let me just oopsie okay right so what's going to happen is if you share yeah you can see the embed link here what you have to do is you'll have to copy paste this entire embed code and then wowza so what you have to do is you'll have to share it you have to do embed it and then you'll have to copy paste this entire thing right here but make sure that you don't have indentation issues in terms of embedding your video <clears throat> and when you do that it'll be available under the search page and then you will be able to access uh, that page uh, with the YouTube uh, link done one of the other things that you can do is if you want to create a content which is available on this page right now what you will have to do is you'll have to create an RST as I told you again uh, if you go to this libraries file in RST there's a way of converting or ch mentioning in RST that it is a you know a capital tag so what I will do is suppose I'll say libraries I'm going to open this with sublime what will happen is if you can see yeah I'm sorry not in the right page the RST right you have to go back you'll have to go this restructure text file you have to go to right let me open it up with terminal I'm right here I'll have to go back go back ls again go back I'm gonna open up tweet ls I'm right here I will have to open up RST so CD RST ls here you will see vim lib dot RST so right if you open this up if you can see it's written with the equal to sign or pluses or minus double star means it will highlight that pandas sk learn imb learn nltk they're all going to be nested so this is one of the examples how you write nested codes and for the uh, for the other documentations let's just have a look at it so we'll say escape right quit um, I have suppose uh, train.rst so let me say vim train.rst so you can see here you have to always specify it like this the training model and you can write whatever content you want in between and then you can write your code block and then what you have to do at the very end is you will have to mention whatever files are mentioned here you will have to mention them in index.rst which is right here all you have to do is you'll have to come down whatever rst folder you have created slash whatever the file name dot rst name and then right quit it go back to your version where you can see uh, just a second where you can see make file right and then make html and it will be able to create that html for you so that's how it is done it is that simple 